Welcome to another Metters Musings video. My name is Chris. It was my son's first birthday recently for his party. We did an under the sea theme. We had plenty of fish decorations and my wife made the most amazing turtle cake. And I thought it would be fun to show off the iPad during the party, so I wanted to find a cool aquarium type app. I found two that I purchased, so here's a quick look at the first one. It is Ocean Blue from Calm to Us. Right off the bat, you should know this app isn't cheap. It comes in at $10, really high if you're in the market for an aquarium type app. But you need to know this isn't just an aquarium type app. They call it a diving simulator. It does take a few seconds to load, but once it does, as you can see right here, you are treated to some stunning graphics. Let's go over the features. Now you can choose from two backdrops. You have either Blue Hole or Red Sea. Now both backdrops are amazing. The attention to detail is awesome. Once you've chosen your location for your dive, it's time to pick the fish right now, right here. You choose, there are only six different fish to choose from. The developers say there will be more coming. There will also be more locations. Now, once you have everything chosen, you just click the snorkel right there and it's time to dive. As you can see, the graphics are stunning. The fish and environment are very realistic. Now you can change your view. To view your environment, there's a couple ways. One, you can click on that and then you can just slide your finger up and down. Move it all around, looking up, looking down, sideways. You can change your view. It's a real 360 type view of the ocean. What you can also do is you can use the iPad's accelerometer, pick it up and rotate it around once you click on that again and you change it around that way. Sorry for the reflection, but as you can see, it is changing the view of what you're seeing on screen. There's another thing you can do. You can do some pinch and zoom. Get up close with those turtles right there. Now say you want to learn a little bit more about the fish or you want to see the detail of the fish or the turtle, all you have to do is simply double tap and what that does is it brings up the fish, or in this case the turtle, and what it does is it blacks out the background. It also gives you a camera icon. So what you do is you tap on the camera icon, it gives you the click picture as if you're taking it, and brings up a little bit more information here, more details about the animal itself. What's also nice about this application is if you have a second iPad or you have a friend with one and the Ocean Blue app, you can sync them up via Bluetooth. Now this creates a larger viewing environment. The fish will swim from screen to screen. Again, this is a really nice app. The graphics are stunning. Is it worth the $10 price tag right now? Uh, probably not. You are limited to the two locations and six fish, but Calm to Us does say they are updating regularly and will be adding more and more animals. So once that starts to happen, the $10 price tag will be worth it. As far as using it for an aquarium on your desk or at home, I have a bit of problem with it. After a few minutes of use, I found the movement of the fish got choppy. It's almost like the app is using too much memory from the iPad. This to me is very disappointing. I wanted to show off the iPad and show off the great graphics of this app, but the choppiness prevented me from doing so. I found if I moved the screen around, the choppiness wasn't an issue, but just leaving the app running and just watching it that's when the issue started. I'm hoping this may be addressed in a future update. There are a lot of things to love about this app. A lot of hard work has gone into it, but for $10, I'd expect a little bit more right now. If the developer is true to its word, we should be seeing more locations and fish. Then I think the $10 price tag again will be justified. So what do you think? I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And for more iPad and iPhone content, check out my website. The link is below. Follow me on Twitter. Again, the link is below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.